Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I have a quick and easy recipe for you. I'm going to show you how to make grilled cheese roll-ups. This is a classic spin on grilled cheese sandwiches. Super easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts, but it's really easy to remember these. So here we go, classic grilled cheese. And so I'm gonna start with some white bread here. You can use wheat bread too, if you like. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, a knife. This is my bread knife. And I'm gonna trim off the edges here, the crust. And you can save this crust um, don't throw out the crust, you can save it, you can dry it out and then blend it up and make homemade breadcrumbs if you want. Or you can make little like toast sticks with it. So just trim off these edges and I'm going to Go like that. Those were just a little bit larger. This one was just a little bit smaller, so. Now what we're gonna do is take a piece of bread, take a rolling pin, and now we are going to just roll this out. Put that knife away. Just push down and roll. If you saw my French toast roll-ups video, this is very similar to that, but we're making a savory option instead of a breakfast or dessert option. Okay, so we'll just roll it out nice and flat. Now there's a two ways you can do this. You can roll this lengthwise or widthwise. And what we're gonna do, this is just gonna be a cheese option. I have a blend of, it's like Colby, Jack, and cheddar, and it's thinly, um, thinly shredded. It just melts easier that way. You could use something like American cheese if you like American. American cheese melts really well. It's not my favorite cheese though, but it melts really well. So a lot of people like that for grilled cheese. And now we're gonna roll this up. Nice and tight. And you kind of push down on it so it has more of a flat bottom and it'll just help it to stay. Or if you need to, you can come in here with a toothpick. And we'll just stick that with a toothpick. And sometimes you need to do that until you can get some of the cheese to melt that will hold it together. So that's one way that you can do it. Roll it out. I'm gonna take this piece of ham. and I have this really thinly sliced deli ham that I got and it fits the bread like perfectly. And then again, let's put some cheese on here. And on this one, I'm just gonna put the cheese right here on the edge. And then we'll roll it up lengthwise here. And you, you may not need like this one is staying pretty well by itself, so you may not need those little toothpicks to hold it together. All right, let's head over to the stovetop. Here we are at the stovetop. I have the heat set to right between medium low and medium, so around 325 Fahrenheit if you were gonna do this like on a griddle. And I'm gonna take some butter, just a knob of butter here, and we are going to put that on there and move it all around. 
one of the things that I love about grilled cheese is the butter on the outside. And some people also will use mayonnaise instead of butter. But I love butter. Okay? So we'll just put that in there. And we'll take one of these. And we'll put it down. And then what you can also do if you want is come in here with some melted butter. And we'll just go on the top. And now you just want to cook and brown the sides until they're nice and golden brown and then the inside of it will get warm enough to melt that cheese. Come in here and check it. Ooh, yeah, see that's what you want. Nice golden brown look to it. And then these ones that are being held together with the toothpicks when it, the cheese starts to melt, you should be able to pull those toothpicks out carefully. These are about done. You just kind of check them, make sure it's nice and golden brown all around. Looking good. And then there you go. They are pretty much ready to go. Nice and golden brown, ready to serve. And then what you can do with these pieces is just place them in the pan with some butter baste the tops, and then brown and toast these pieces as well. And then that way you're not wasting those bread um, pieces. But then again, like I mentioned, you can dry them out and make bread crumbs out of it if you want, pretty easy. And then you can serve them just like this if you want, or you can turn them into more of a finger food and just cut them right down the middle, the knife. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's all nice and melted. The cheese, pretty awesome. And there you go, grilled cheese roll-ups. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mm mm mm. 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 So good.